<laughs> hey everybody, this is Eddie Ember coming at you with another episode of You Don't and Jack. Before we jump into this episode, I have a funny story to tell you. I was all ready to tape a few episodes of You Don't Know Jack, so I taped them episodes, and then when I went to go pack up my recording materials, uh, my microphone was unplugged during the entire thing. Yeah. So these are going to be silent episodes. Enjoy. I know some people will take that as a God bless, but enjoy. What sports officials are calling the worst water ballet scandal in the history of the sport. A representative of the WBU refused to accept that this sort of. This is 30 seconds, folks. Donnie here. Thanks for enjoining us. How many people are you? Ah, the single player experience. Why not? Go ahead and typo in your name. The old seafaring captain. <laughs> Excellent. Now, let me tell you how to get playful. Many questions. Move it along, right? Let's go, people. Today's wrong answer of the game is brought to you by Fat Jim's Weasel Jerky. Now with 50% less hair. Okay, let's not waste any more time. Let's begin with a food pyramid scheme. If the Tomb Raider franchise created a sequel called Lara Croft Food Pyramid Raider, what relic would Lara Croft find at the bottom? The sacred bowl of vegetables, the scroll of fruits, the crown of grain. Why didn't you pick this? The USDA has grains at the bottom of their food pyramid, stating you should have 6 to 11 servings of it per day. Meanwhile, the United States Department of Awesome states you need to have 6 to 11 servings of high fives in order to have a balanced day of fun. <laughs> and now, looking for Mrs. Right Away. You know, I get pretty lonely doing all this hosting, so I posted a Craigslist ad looking for love from a celebrity. Here it is. Single male seeking actress from the dark continent. Must love role playing. I'll be your victim if you'll be my serial killer. Promise to j'adore you forever. No fatties, please. Who'll be my best celebrity match? Penelope Cruz, Rachel Weisz, Charlize Theron, or Uma Thurman? Mmm, no, no, Penelope just doesn't fit the criteria I laid out in this ad. Sorry, Penelope, you're just gonna have to find a way to go on living without me. <laughs> Ready for this? Born in South Africa? Check. Played a serial killer and monster? Check. Model for Jador ads? Check. People say I'm shooting for somebody way out of my league. Well, I have two words for them. Uh, yeah, whatever the name of that 90-year-old guy was who married Anna Nicole Smith. Let's try to sleep perchance to not be awake. If the snooze button on Rip Van Winkle's alarm clock gave him 10 extra minutes of sleep, how many times would he have to hit it to sleep for 20 years? A little over 100,000 times, a little over a million times, a little over 10 million times, or a little over 100 million times? Are you familiar with the expression, you snooze, you lose? How about the expression, you lose? You gotta be familiar with that expression by now. <laughs> Next time, try this. Taking into account leap years, etc., Rip Van Winkle would have to hit the snooze button about 1,051,920 times, give or take. And don't write in saying something like, oh, it's actually 1,051,921 or 1,051,922, because for your choices, I gave you a margin of error of several million. So chill out. Take a good look at caffeine! And it's a diss or dat. 
I'm going to list off seven names. For each one, I want you to tell me if it's a flavor of tea from Celestial Seasonings or a Vin Diesel movie. If it's tea, press one on your keyboard. If it's diesel, press two. Right answers will get your heart pumping and your brain racing. But wrong answers will be as soothing as a Vin Diesel movie. And we'll let this question steep for 30 seconds. Ready? Let's go. Morning Thunder, Fast and Furious, Tension Tamer, Fast Lane, Pitch Black, Red Zinger, Awakenings. Much like Vin Diesel's acting, your performance was just good enough. People often tell me I look like Vin Diesel's tea bag. I don't know what that means, but I'm gonna take it as a compliment. Where's the bow, girl? Rock my world, girl. Ooh, yeah. Say hello to H O T T. That spells hot T. If the red hot chili peppers are pretty hot, which band is the hottest? The jalapeno hot chili peppers? The Bucciolokia hot chili peppers? The Poblano hot chili peppers? Or the hot. Your cash is going to be given away, given away, given away now. No, no, I'll get this. With a rating of over 1 million on the Scoville Spice Scale, this Indian pepper is the hottest red chili pepper in the world. I once ate seven of them on a dare in college, which is why I now have to feed myself through my navel. That's all we got for round one. Let's hope you do a hell of a lot better the rest of the way. Remember, I'm doubling the value of each question in round two. And hint, hint, the wrong answer of the game is still out there waiting for you. Now get out there and make me proud. Take a stab at mom's the word. I know this is kind of corny, but I'd like to take a moment to say that I love my mother very much. And also that she's a friggin' liar. Which of these things that my mother told me is actually true? Reading in low light will damage your eyes. Gum stays in your stomach for seven years. Drinking orange... Reading in low light won't damage your eyes. Gum doesn't stain your stomach longer than anything else. And swimming after eating won't give you cramps. But mom was pretty much telling the truth when she said that orange juice and vitamin C in general can at least help ward off a cold. <laughs> Also, I'm pretty sure Sparky wasn't sent to a special farm for awesome dogs. Question seven. Coming up, I'm self-conscious about my Harry Potter. Which of these Harry Harry Potter characters has the least melanin in his hair? Albus Dumbledore, Rubius Hagrid, Sirius Black, or Ron Weasley? Dumbledore has white hair, which is caused by the absence of melanin. I'm sure he could just create a spell to darken his hair, but he's probably afraid he'll just end up looking like one of the guys from ZZ Top. Poor oh, chickens picking out a mate. Oh. Guess I'll marry eight. Pucker up for throwing your voice away. Maybe I'm going crazy, but I keep smelling wood varnish. Oh, it's my tower for a new cologne. Oh, Billy. One's made of skin, one's made of wood, so who's the dummy? Not me. You know, Cookie, Sunday I'll be the one in charge. Oh, really? I'm pretty sure you'll always be the dummy. I dug to differ. I'll rise to the first in command. Like, uh... Like, which of these presidents was vice president before he was president? James K. Tolk, George W. Dush, Martin Van Duren, or Benjamin Franklin? Let me guess. You narrowed it down to the two you'd never heard of before. Oh, you're gonna kick yourself. You dat, Norton Van Duren was vice president before he became president of the United States. But Billy, I, I'm not a president. I wasn't elected to be your ventriloquist. Yeah, nobody would vote for you. So, I'm not going anywhere. I'm 
Unless you need with a horrible accident. <laughs> you somehow managed to be even creepier than most puppets, Billy. Yeah, I'll take that as a compliment. This one's called My Pies Bring All the Boys to the Shop. If Mrs. Lovett's pie shop were to get reviewed on Yelp, what would be her average rating? One star, rude customer service and I found mud in my pie. Three stars, decent fruit pies, you must get the snozberry. Four stars, whipped cream pies have me whipped. Five stars. <laughs> Mrs. Nellie Lovett is Sweeney Todd's partner in crime. She puts his victims into her meat pies. Just another reason to always trust Yelp. Hold me, never let me go. And my this one's known as 30 Stonefeller Plaza. Which one of these 30 Rock cast members would weigh 30 stone? A 3-pound baby Tracy Morgan, a 90-pound dieting Judah Friedlander, a 420-pound very pregnant Tina Fey, or a 2,000-pound Alec Baldwin? One stone equals 14 pounds, so a 30 stone Tina Fey would weigh 420 pounds. <laughs> Oh boy, if Tina Fey's character weighed 420 pounds, I bet Tracy Morgan would say something really outrageous. I bet he would. Oh, do you need to be somewhere? My mistake. Here's your clue. You've changed, man. I thought I knew you. I really did. Good luck. That's the game! For all you foodies out there, I definitely say that performance was cooked medium well. And for all you raw vegans, I'd say that performance was, um, well baked. No, no, wait, fried. No, not fried. Um, harvested. Yeah, harvested. Your performance was, um, harvested? So, yes. You don't know Jack! That's a wrap. Donnie, what's happening? Hey, are you eagle to play another round? When is a pickle? Please make for a terrible commute. Authorities hope that the trains will be running in the next few hours once the dung, confetti, and pantyhose are all clear from the track.